15 Reasons Why Princess Catherine is the Future Queen Consort We All Need Princess Catherine, the current Princess of Wales, is the next Queen Consort of the UK, if everything goes as planned. She's married to Prince William, the heir to the British throne. Since her marriage in 2011, the princess has proven her love and dedication to the throne. However, the monarchy faces the challenge of survival. In a world that's continuously evolving, future monarchs must be able to preserve British traditions while embracing modern ideas. Keep watching to discover 15 reasons why Princess Catherine is the future consort that we need. Number 1. Grace Under Pressure Life comes with several challenges and pressures. Many people can manage and function effectively under pressure, while others are overwhelmed and totally lost in them. As the Queen Consort, Princess Catherine will be under a lot of pressure. Although other people have the privilege of letting the pressures of life consume them, the future Queen Consort will not be so fortunate. She'll have to overcome varying degrees of pressure. When she married Prince William, she became the Duchess of Cambridge. Her role as the Duchess and Senior Royal has helped her handle pressure and its demands. However, the roles of the Duchess of Cambridge cannot be compared to those of Queen Consort. So how can the gap be breached? With the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, there was a change in the line of succession. King Charles became the new king, and he announced Prince William and Catherine as the Prince and Princess of Wales. Stepping into the shoes of the Princess of Wales is a huge step in the right direction. However, the shoes of the former Princess of Wales, Princess Diana, are very large to fill. Although Princess Catherine is loved and appreciated by most UK citizens, she might be pressured to act and function like the former Princess of Wales. Well, this current princess will not be deterred or pressured. A few days after King Charles' announcement, royal sources informed Hello that Princess Catherine appreciates the history associated with this role, but will understandably want to look at the future as she creates her own path. Her work as the Duchess of Cambridge and her new role as the princess, coupled with being a hands-on mother of three children, are proof of Catherine's efficiency in managing pressure. Number 2. Strong Work Ethic Over the years, certain British monarchs have raised the standards of work ethics. King George VI, the father of Queen Elizabeth, was a popular and loved monarch in the 20th century. He was a principled man who was diligent in his work. He likely passed this trait on to his daughter, Queen Elizabeth, and Princess Catherine has subscribed to it. Princess Catherine may not have many interests, but she's fully committed to her royal duties and the charity she supports. Reports state that Queen Elizabeth was initially worried about Catherine's work ethic, but the modern princess has proven herself. Since she joined the firm, she's conducted herself according to the acceptable behaviors and norms of the British royals. Her passion for the causes she supports has motivated her to surpass expectations and get the job done. Do not be surprised to hear tales of her journey to Denmark. The Duchess was interested in the early childhood practices of the Danish and how they promoted children's mental health. The princess is not only directly involved with her three children, she also brings that attitude to her organizations. On her diplomatic trips, she honors the country with her outfits and easily charms the dignitaries of that country. Paula Lester, the editor of Country Life, said Princess Catherine took the commission for then-Duchess Camilla's photograph for the magazine. According to the editor, the princess initiated contact and was incredibly professional in her work. Number 3. Social Persona Many individuals tend to be rude and insensitive to people when they attain certain positions. But Princess Catherine remains true to her roots. She maintains a pleasant personality and is quick to interact with people of different ages and walks of life. The media is filled with photos of her hugging young children actively interacting with people, showing signs of active listening with children, playing games, and also breaking the royal's unwritten rule of no selfies. A quick web search of selfies with Princess Catherine shows the royal taking selfies with different people. Andrea Blasquez of the Daily Express writes, The Princess of Wales always tries to make the conversation sound as natural as possible and makes people feel important with her listening skills. 
conversation analyst Martin Decoder analyzed the Duchess's interview with This Morning, where he observed the princess using inclusive words and drawing the interviewers into the conversation. She also shared a short story about Prince George during the conversation, just like the average mother. Her direct involvement with her children makes mothers all over the globe relate to her as a mother rather than an aristocrat. Her ability to connect with and interact with people is an asset that the crown needs. An aloof or rude queen consort cannot win the hearts of the people and may ultimately precede the end of the monarchy in the UK. Number 4. Charity Princess Catherine supports charities and organizations that are interested in mental health, early childhood development, the visual arts, outdoor sports, and textiles. As earlier mentioned, the princess actively works with the leaders of these organizations and is not afraid to actively seek lasting solutions. According to the royal historian of Queen Elizabeth, Christopher Warwick, Princess Diana was devoted to her philanthropic causes like other members of the royal family. What distinguished her was her tendency to get involved with areas that were highly stigmatized and considered taboo in the 1990s, HIV AIDS, homeless individuals, leprosy. She made it her personal mission to interact with those who were forgotten by society and make them feel seen. Warwick further stated that Princess Catherine has followed this path and works in sectors like mental health, addiction prevention, and anti-bullying. At the center of the princess's heart is the need to get it right. She believes that a healthy childhood is one of the keys to a successful adulthood. In her words, I've seen that experiences such as homelessness, addiction, and poor mental health are often grounded in a difficult childhood. But I've also seen how positive, protective factors in the early years can play a critical role in shaping our futures too. In 2019, the Duchess of Cambridge designed and built a collection of Back to Nature gardens displayed at the RHS Chelsea Flower Show. She blended her love for the arts, the outdoors, and childhood development to create the gardens. The gardens highlight the importance of outdoor activities and active exploration for a child's development and social skills. A permanent back-to-nature play garden was created at RHS wisely due to the princess's ingenious work. Number 5. Family Princess At heart, Princess Catherine has always been family-oriented. She recognizes that the family is the foundation of society, and any damage done to the family unit is an attack on society. So she prioritizes her family, and her actions have been modeled by diverse women around the world. As the wife of the future monarch, she supported and participated in her husband's projects and interests. The future queen initially supported the visual arts, children, and outdoor activities but her interest in mental health charities could be due to Prince William's influence. Prince William is an active advocate for mental health, climate change, and other causes. Due to the tremendous support of his wife, the couple's been dubbed climate change influencers. In the recent Earthshot Prize at Fenway's MGM Music Hall in Boston, Princess Catherine overcame her fear of public speaking and presented a $1 million prize in the Clean Our Air category. As advocates of early childhood development, Princess Catherine and Prince William have created a safe bubble of normalcy for their children. She was once criticized for not attending multiple royal engagements in a month, but eagerly going on family vacations. Princess Catherine's decision to limit herself to one or two public engagements did not sit well with the general public. They compared her to the more advanced senior royals who attended at least 10 functions per month. Well, this royal princess was not perturbed by her critics and proceeded to brand herself as a hands-on mother. While she gradually increased her workload, she ensured her children had her attention. She's often seen taking them to school, playing with them at the park, effectively handling their tantrums, and actively speaking to them. Number 6. The Kate Middleton Effect British designer India Hicks once said, Kate has done a great job She's been a great ambassador for British fashion. She's an antidote to all the gloom and doom out there. Charles Manning of Cosmopolitan.com stated that the princess sees clothes as a way to influence discussions. While everyone has their opinions, if we take Manning's word at face value, 
the princess has been successful in her quest to influence discussions. This is likely one of the things she unwittingly discovered and eventually took advantage of. She influences women to buy from affordable, sustainable, and eco-friendly brands. The Princess of Wales has also inspired several women across the globe to recycle their clothes and promote a green environment. From her engagement outfit, which quickly sold out, to her hairstyle, jewelry, and accessories, each of these items or concepts was quickly purchased or recreated by the women following the Duchess. Her hairstyles are very popular in the British fashion market. In a study conducted by Long Vita, which analyzed Google Trends data, Catherine's full fringe hairstyle in 2015 was the most popular. It recorded a whopping 426% rise above average in search. Speaking of searches, did you know that her hairstyle of long brown locks, which has been coined the Kate Middleton haircut, has over 3,400 monthly searches? The effect of her dress has promoted the British fashion industry. According to Newsweek, the Kate Middleton effect may be worth $1 billion to the UK fashion industry. Number 7. The Modern Princess Princess Catherine was not dubbed the modern princess for nothing. She's displayed an uncanny ability to blend tradition with modern ideas. Nicole Andre of EV Magazine wrote, The media swooned over how Harry and Meghan were supposed to modernize the monarchy but I think Will and Kate are actually the royals for our modern age. The modern princess has buttressed this point through her actions. As a senior royal, she was not obligated to directly take care of her children. But the princess deliberately identified herself as an active participant in her children's lives. The Duchess's actions have made her relatable to every British mother and have humanized the royals. People do not look at Catherine as a distant dream, but as one of them. When launching the 2016 Anna Freud Center podcast titled Child in Mind, the princess said she and William would not hesitate to get expert support for George and Charlotte's mental health if they ever needed it. For the British royal family, any display of vulnerability was considered a weakness. The princess's comment indicated that she will embrace modern values, and by bringing her children into the conversation, she encouraged parents to do the needful. They've also used technology as a tool to modernize the monarchy. Her social media content and the YouTube channel for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have given netizens a glimpse into the lifestyle and personalities of their future monarchs. With her actions, the princess shows that she'll make a perfect fit for the 21st century queen consort. Number 8. Art Historian Catherine, Princess of Wales, started her educational journey at Down House and then proceeded to Marlborough College. Subsequently, she completed her A-level with an AAB at St. Andrews School in Berkshire. At the end of her A-level, Catherine opted for a gap year and forfeited an opportunity to study at Edinburgh. She spent her gap year on an international expedition in Chile and proceeded to have the best time in Florence, Italy. In 2001, she enrolled at the University of St. Andrews in Scotland as an art history major. Catherine Middleton met Prince William at the University of St. Andrews. They became friends and their relationship progressed to something more intimate. After the four-year program, Catherine graduated with a 2-1 in art history. Number 9. Mental Health Champion Mental health is associated with varying degrees of stigma. Fortunately, Princess Catherine of Wales is determined to eliminate such a stigma. As a young mother and patron to many charities, the Duchess recognizes the impact of poor mental health on society. She believes early detection of mental health challenges and seeking professional help will reduce the social challenges we face in society. As a mental health activist, the Princess has initiated open conversations about mental health and also promoted its awareness. In February 2023, Princess Catherine kicked off Children's Mental Health Week by encouraging school children to talk about their emotions. She told the children at the St. John CE Primary School to keep talking about their feelings and keep asking others how they're doing. The princess is not limited to only mental health for children, she's also interested in the mental well being of young adults. She and her husband, Prince William, visited the Open Door Charity 
a vibrant organization that creates innovative programs to help young people overcome their mental challenges. Number 10. Fashion Diplomat The fairy tale of royal life might blind you to the hard work of these impressive individuals. Apart from their charity work, the royals are expected to go on diplomatic visits to other countries and preserve the peace between both countries. Diplomacy is an essential skill that every royal needs to develop. Due to their line of work, members of the British royal family are up to par in diplomacy, and the princess cannot be left behind. Princess Catherine excels in the diplomatic field. She's used her clothing, accessories, and attitude to charm the hearts of many foreigners. It's not surprising that the media dubbed her a fashion diplomat. On her royal tours, every item she wears tells a story of solidarity and thoughtfulness. The palace described the Cambridge's royal tour to Pakistan as the most complex tour undertaken by the couple. Yet the princess was not phased. All through the tour, the Duchess wore beautiful outfits that were variations of traditional Pakistani designs. Her actions likely warmed the hearts of the dignitaries in Pakistan. Number 11. Dedication to the Commonwealth The success of the Commonwealth is the success of the monarchy. As a senior royal and the wife of the heir apparent, Princess Catherine is dedicated to the progress of the Commonwealth. She attended the 2022 Commonwealth service with her husband and has participated ever since. The Commonwealth, which has grown from seven countries to 54 member countries, was hosted at Westminster Abbey. The couple was photographed interacting with several representatives and schoolchildren. Princess Catherine often accompanies Prince William on his official visits to the Commonwealth countries. Number 12. The Monarchy's Continuity As a future Queen Consort, the new Duchess of Cornwall is absolutely committed to ensuring the continuity and stability of the monarchy. At the beginning of the feud between Prince William and Prince Harry, the Duchess encouraged the brothers to settle amicably, but her efforts were not fruitful. While Prince Harry revealed more devastating information about the monarchy, royal expert Katie Nichol has her eye on Catherine, Princess of Wales. Katie stated, It's a period when there's been a lot of flux and transition for the royal family, and I think promoting that image of continuity and stability is going to be the focus for this year. The actions of the Princess of Wales and other royal members will certainly promote the existence of the monarchy. Number 13. Genuine Connection with the Public Catherine has always displayed genuine interest when interacting with different people. She has no difficulty chatting and laughing with people who do not share her interests. While studying Princess Catherine's connection with fans at the National Maritime Museum in Cornwall, Body language expert Judy James concluded that she displays natural enthusiasm, warmth, and humor. James further stated, Here the charm looks authentic, like a natural Kate, and quite a relentless, emphatic signal of the queen she intends to become. Princess Catherine, on her 2020 visit to Bradford, was captured on camera interacting warmly with an Austrian young man. It was replayed as a TikTok video uploaded by user Royal Family Fan Page 5 and got 110,000 views and 5,000 likes. A TikTok user commented, Catherine is the real deal. There's nothing fake about her. She's full of empathy and compassion. I love how she interacts with people. Number 14. Eco-Friendly Activities As the wife of an eco-friendly activist, Princess Catherine has been quite vocal about the need for Earth-friendly habits. She uses her influence to encourage women to buy from sustainable brands and recycle their clothes. The princess has a large wardrobe, but she doesn't hesitate to repeat or even rent outfits. Number 15. Royal Role Model The Princess of Wales is a role model for several young women around the world. She was voted the top female role model in the UK at a national poll for the Girls Out Loud campaign in 2022. She was also voted Most Inspirational Woman of the Year, with 35% of the votes. A Twitter user who reacted to the poll writes, For the past two and a half years, she's been a shining light, the kind of woman every girl should try to become, someone honorable, smart, and classy. The chairman of the British Monarchia Society, Thomas J. Mace Archer Mills, said that in a world dominated by reality TV and superficiality, 
people want and have excessive egos. The Duchess of Cambridge is a breath of fresh air and an excellent role model giving a unique, relevant, modern, and positive interpretation of traditional values without undermining women's equality.